Go to a concert, a shopping mall, or even your local city and you'll see a big group of people. But some of the largest gatherings in the world will really take your breath away. The crazy thing is you likely don't know about many of these. But there have been some occasions, good and bad, where tens of millions of people have come together. I'm Charlie and these are the largest gatherings of all time. Before we get into it, why not make our own gathering by subscribing and pressing the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have Cumb Mela. The Cumb Mela pilgrimage is said to be the largest religious gathering in the world, yet many people have never heard of it. It actually holds multiple world records for the largest gathering. The event happens every 12 years, but the largest one was in 2010 on April the 14th. It happened in Haridwar, India, and 80 million people attended the event. The 2019 pilgrimage had 50 million people, and the 2013 pilgrimage had 30 million. It's a gigantic Hindu festival and people come from all over the world, although mainly India, to celebrate it. The ritual involves swimming in the waters, and there's also mass feedings of monks and the pool. Next up is Arabian Pilgrimage. This is also known as the Arabian Festival. It's held every year in Karbala, Iraq, and in 2016 it broke world records. 30 million people attended the event. This was more than in 2015 with 27 million people and 2014 with 20 million people. It's part of Shia Islam. People make a gigantic pilgrimage often on foot. They traveled where Hussein and his companions were beheaded. This happened in the year 610 during the Battle of Karbala. Next up is the funeral of Cien Anadure. Konji Varnam Natarajan Anadurai was an Indian politician. He served as the first chief minister of Tamil Nadu for 20 days. He was very famous and well respected in India, but he had a habit of chewing tobacco. This caused him to pass away in 1969. His funeral was public and had 15 million attendees. This is believed to be the largest funeral gathering in history. It was held in Chennai, India. CN was a very widely respected speaker and writer, and he was so loved by the local people because he made Tamil the official language of the state. He rejected Hindi and allowed the people of Chennai to have Tamil as their official language. A controversial figure, but one very respected in his state. Next up is Almi Ajatima Aranjabad. This event is an Islamic congregation. Millions of Muslims from around the world attend this event. It's held in Mahashtra, India, and in 2018 it broke records with 12.6 million attendees. It began 41 years ago in a very small town, but is now a gigantic global phenomenon. Next up is martyrdom processions of Musa al-Qadim. Musa al-Qadim was the seventh Shia Imam. He is regarded by Sunni Muslims as a renowned scholar. He was imprisoned three times. The third time was in Baghdad, where he passed away. They apparently carried out false reports on what he was doing. They said he was committing evil on earth. He was then given the death penalty and was taken out in 2016. He was sentenced to execution and was taken out in the year 799. Every year to commemorate him, there's a big procession. In 2016, it broke records, attracting 12 million people. And in 2015, 11.9 million people. Next up is Funeral of Ruhala Khomeini. Ruhala Khomeini was the Ayatollah of Iran. He led the 1979 Iranian Revolution. This saw the overthrow of the last Shah, Mohammad Reza. And after 2,500 years of Persian monarchy, he became the supreme leader of Iran. In the country, he was very well respected until he passed away in 1989. There was a massive funeral for him in Tehran, Iran, with 10.2 million people. It's said to be the second largest funeral of all time. Next up, we have Papal Gathering. The Philippines is a massive country with a population of 105 million people. 80% of those people are Roman Catholic. And that's why when the Pope went to the Philippines in 2015, there was a massive gathering. The gathering happened in Manila, Philippines. And it broke all previous records for the country, gaining 5 million visitors. It's known as a Papal Gathering, which is where people gather around to see the Pope. This was a really big deal for the Philippines, as the last time a Pope visited the country was in 1995. Coming up next is World Youth Day. 
I'm sure every 80s kid remembers January 15th, 1995. This was the largest World Youth Day. The main event took place in Manila, Philippines. Over 5 million people attended and Pope John Paul had to be flown in by helicopter. That's because authorities couldn't navigate the crowds on the ground. Pope John Paul II actually initiated a Sunday Mass to all of the youth. And the photos from the event really do look like a sea of people. Next up is Funeral of Gamal Abdel Nasser. Gamal Abdel Nasser Hussein was the second ever president of Egypt. He served from 1957 until he passed away in 1970. He was very respected in Egypt because he led the 1952 overthrow of the monarchy. So that's why in 1970 when he passed away, 5 million people attended. This is said to be the third largest funeral in human history. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner. Have you ever been to a gigantic gathering of thousands or millions of people? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thank you for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.